I'm Jordan Wilson with Caster HQ TV. Today we're going to be discussing how to properly measure and install an expandable rubber stem caster. The first thing you'll need to know is the inner diameter of the tubing that the casters will be installed into. So you could use a caliper, digital caliper to measure. You could use a ruler or a tape measure. Uh, the digital caliper method is a little bit more accurate. It just gives you a peace of mind after you measure the inner diameter and you go online or the product, you know exactly what size you're, that you need. Um, I mean, it, most people can read a tape measure just fine. So if you have a tape measure lying around, this is a little bit more common. You can go ahead and measure the inner diameter with this. When you've been measuring the inner diameter, you wanna make sure you measure from the inner wall to the other side of the inner wall, the inner diameter, not the outside. So measure from here to here, that's your inner diameter. Once you have that, you can visit our website, which is casterhq.com, and we have a section that's just for expandable rubber adapters. Um, they, the sizes range from three quarter inch diameter all the way up to one and three quarter inches in diameter and you can choose different wheel sizes. You can choose a three inch diameter wheel all the way up to a five inch diameter wheel. And you can choose different colors. We have red, blue, gray, and black. And you also have different material wheels. So depending on what the application is, you can choose a polyurethane wheel, you can choose a thermoplastic rubber wheel, you can even, even choose a steel wheel if you really need to. Once you place the order, you should receive the product within one to three business days. Um, you should receive it assembled just like this um, for the example of this video this is a three inch diameter wheel and this is an inch and a half diameter expandable rubber stem so when you see the product you want to make sure that everything's tight you don't want to you want to make sure the neural nut is tight and then all the components are here so go ahead and look for the neural nut the rubber sleeve this is the part that expands inside of your tubing the spacer and then the base washer so there should be four components to the expandable rubber stem casters. If you have all components, go ahead and insert this into your tubing. And if it's loose, you're gonna to want to take it back out and you're going to wanna to exp expand this rubber sleeve just a little bit. So you wanna hold on to this raceway. This is the raceway, allows it to swivel. Make sure it's tight, grab the neural nut, turn it clockwise a few times. Once you do that, it'll further expand this rubber and now you can see the rubber protrudes past the neural nut. These used to be the same diameter. Now this one sticks out past it just a little bit. Um, reinsert that into your tubing. And if it's a very tight fit going in, that's what you want. When you insert the caster, make sure it sits flush and you don't have any of the stem exposed. So make sure that the caster is completely flush inside of the tubing. Once all your casters are installed, you're gonna to wanna to do a final tightening on the casters. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You could either insert the product and you could turn these counterclockwise on the raceway. So while the product is inserted, you grab the raceway and you just simply turn it a few times and that's gonna further expand the rubber even more. Um, or while it's installed, you could grab a 19 millimeter wrench and there's a hex nut under the raceway in the back of the caster, and you can grab that and you can turn that a few times uh, to further expand the rubber adapter. So it just depends how you want to install it. So that's how you install an expandable rubber stem caster. If the video helped you, please subscribe to our channel and please like the video.